Hey dolls, so welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. In today's video, I am sharing a quick run through of how I made these shirts for my husband. I needed to get these images to my Cricut Design Space and all were purchased off of Etsy. Um, I'll have the links to the different sellers. I believe I used three different sellers images for these uh, different shirts that I made. Now, once you get everything into Cricut Design Space, you just wanna make sure it's all aligned, the proper size, everything's going in the direction that you want it to. And you want to select everything, align it. I clicked align center horizontally. And I also make sure to group them because I want this to be like one big image on the shirt. Once I click group, I also click attach because I want all of this to cut out on the same mat. And another important thing you want to do is check all of your layers and make sure that they're set to cut. And you'll know that because it has the little scissors uh, icon. Save multiple times when you're doing this. And then when you're ready to make it, click make it. Now, because this is a heat transfer image, I actually need to mirror it. So it's going to cut in the reverse. That way, when I iron it on, it's going to be in the direction I need it to be. And then you just choose what uh, device you're using. I have two Cricut makers. So that's what you see there. And also Cricut has a easy press interactive quick reference guide. So I'm using the Cricut Everyday Iron On. I used a 100% cotton t-shirt that I purchased from Target. And I'm also going to use my Cricut Easy Press with the Easy Press mat. So on the right hand side are all the directions I need to use for this shirt, my press and my mat. Here I'm just showing you what it looks like with the machine cutting out the design, okay? I did, again, use Cricut Vinyl. I've never had any issues of all of the different projects, and I've done at least about 32 to 40 shirts at this point for various different projects. I just haven't posted all of them because I've been too busy doing them. <laughs> but for this specific shirt, this is what I used for my husband, and the shirts, I picked them up from Target, and this is what the design looks like while it's cutting out. If you're using... A laptop computer whatever you're using with the app make sure that the uh, device does not go to sleep mode because it will stop cutting um, this is what it looks like the light pad that you see is a artist light pad that I purchased off of Amazon but Cricut does have their own and then here I'm just using my Cricut weeding tool to weed out the design another tip I will give you is to cut as close as you can around your design so that any extra vinyl you can use for other projects all right now this is what it looks like I'm going to go over to my Cricut easy press it's already preheat 315 for 30 seconds and you need to pre-measure where you're going to do everything I always do my designs about three inches down from the top of the, the collar I do pre-warm my shirts and I don't pre-wash my garments you can and you probably should but I never do and I've never had any shrinking issues um, so you want to preheat the garment for five seconds that's just to get any moisture out of it and then you're going to lay the design down and you're going to go ahead and press for 30 seconds you don't have to use an additional carrier sheet because as you can see the heat transfer vinyl already comes with one if you accidentally uh forget a spot then just go back in and repress as you can see i had to do now you want to this required for what they call a warm peel so you slowly peel off while the design is still warm and then you go back in and you press for an additional 30 seconds at the 315 degrees after you do that, now here I'm showing you, you can use a carrier sheet and it'll be fine. This is just one of those baking sheets that it's like a nonstick baking sheet that I purchased off of Amazon. So if you want to, you can use it, but you don't have to because the Cricut Easy Press has a ceramic surface. So you flip your garment over and then you warm it up for the 30 seconds from the back and then you flip it back over and I always do an additional press on the front. It's up to you with what you're comfortable with, but this is what I do for all my garments. And that's it. I did do an additional shirt for my husband. The other design just said, um, I cut hair 
that's what I do. I cut hair and I know things. That is him to a T. It is a line from the design. He says, I drink and I know things. But for my husband, I personalized it to fit him. He's a professional barber, owns a shop. And I just thought that was really cool. I will probably have to do a different tutorial showing how I did a combination of all of these images. It was a lot of work in design space, even though I purchased the images off of Etsy and those links will be below. But I just wanted to give a roundabout idea of what I did. And that's all. If you have any questions, post them below and I'll see you on the next one as always. And until next time, have a gorgeous day, doll smooches. Mwah. Bye.